Compared to traditional physical therapy, virtual reality just yields a plethora of opportunities. When you're using virtual reality, you can allow these users to have completely different worlds where they can get distracted, where their therapy is actually fun and exciting. You'll have users pushing themselves out of their comfort zones to catch shooting stars, to perform these virtual tasks. So phase one is where we're at right now. We started this in January when we collaborated with Hope Services to begin having them bring individuals with special needs up here for us to have them work in the HTC Vive environment. We're planning on concluding this in December. However, phase two is going to launch in September of this year when we begin developing digital assistance that are going to use speech recognition to assist in speech therapy as well as developing communication skills. And then finally in phase three we're going to begin pushing these out to expand into telepractice and teletherapy to where these uh, therapists and instructors and coaches can meet with people remotely and interact with them in those environments. Medicare only covers a certain amount for physical therapy and for those oh, who require long-term physical therapy such as oh, survivors, oh, uh, the data from 2015 I believe stated that uh, most of these people have to pay at least $3,000 out of pocket. Now with the virtual reality system, if we could really make it so that it's robust enough to replace the physical therapy sessions that they have to go and pay $3,000 out of pocket, then it would definitely be cheaper. At the moment it's already under $1,000 and with the higher demand and higher um, availability of virtual reality system, hopefully the price would go down significantly and eventually, hopefully, it will be, what, one-fifth or one-tenth of this out-of-pocket cost of going to real physical therapy session. Is this something that you would like to do in the future? Would you like to play other games? Yes. What did you enjoy the most about the game? Everything. Everything? Everything. What did you enjoy the most about the game? Getting the start. <laughs> Awesome. With this technology, we can uh, improve the types of data that we get from these users. We can track how they're progressing in rehabilitation. We can make it accessible for therapists. Many yeah. of the tools that aren't out yet, such as the uh, HTC Vive uh, positional trackers, we already have a number of potential uses for it. Say an arm for someone who's uh, got a sensory motor disability and we want to see the finer points of their motion. With this game that we have, uh, Project Starcatcher, we're actually looking into future implementation of using this real-time data that's being outputted by the HTC Vive and the Unity game engine. And we're planning on incorporating it with one of our Tensegrity exosuits to perform uh, feedback control and adjust the game based off of the user's uh, playstyle and movement. From my point of view, I think there is a multi-step solution here. First of all, we want to understand how the system works, and for that we are going to use a very precise uh, motion capture system, which uh, students are telling me can answer the question for a uh, understanding how different parts of the body are moving individually. However, this system is not very portable. So, what uh, step two is going to be, once we understand how the system works, we are going to go to Hope Services, and for Hope Services we need a portable system. The final goal of this project is to have a portable system which someone can have in his living room and uh, exercise and do rehabilitation at home. Before we manage to have such a portable system, we have a much more uh, specialized room in which we can track all the motions of uh, different uh, parts of the human body and we can adjust and uh, build basically our suit uh, to adapt to whatever problem we want to solve. So here we are in this uh, lovely room which has uh, an expensive uh, motion capture system, an expensive virtual reality system and uh, as a first uh, step. Second step is going to be a very cheap virtual reality system with a set of portable IMUs which are uh, doing pretty much the same thing. For example, HTC Vive, which is a lot more affordable than the half a million dollar room we are sitting in. Currently, our work is based out of Santa Cruz, California. We have one HTC Vive and we work uh, with adults who have special needs. With this, we hope to expand out, uh, not only acquiring more Vives, but uh, as well as acquiring more groups to work with. And <clears throat> long term, we hope to expand this out into the rural areas, not just of the US, but to the world so that people who don't have the geographical location needed to acquire the therapy they need can engage in telepractice or better teletherapy and speech therapists as well as general therapists can interact with these patients that need this care and interact with them worldwide and virtually without them needing to be present anymore.